Hey everyone, so I thought we'd go on a little bit of a walk um, through the woods here. So I know there's quite a number of you that uh, mostly watch the videos for the hydroelectric stuff, and I understand why. Uh, I also love hydroelectric, it's off become a hobby of mine. Uh, I thought I'd show you, do a bit of prospecting I've been doing, because I have another stream on the land. In fact, I have multiple streams, but I have another one that is uh, suitable for hydro. So uh, we're just walking into the woods here. There's the uh, penstock pipe and the uh, turbine, current turbine system is just down through there. That's where the turbine is. But I have a number of other little streams that run through my woods. There's one here, uh, but this one only really flows small amounts. It flows quite a lot when it rains, but most of the time it's pretty small amounts. Um, so that's not really viable. However, I do have others on the back of my woodland and uh, it's, it's shared on a boundary with my neighbour um, which is why I didn't actually use that one um, in the, for the first uh, system but um, I since have become very well uh, acquainted with the, the neighbour and um, he actually said he wouldn't mind me doing that so I had to change hands there yes yeah, so I've since become acquainted with my neighbour um, and he doesn't really use that area very much and I don't think he would mind me doing that. I actually did mention it to him and he said he wouldn't mind me doing that. So I uh, thought we'd prospect it. In fact, I already have prospect it, prospected it and uh, worked out that it's definitely a viable um, system and it would actually work uh, for longer in the year than my current system does. Uh, where am I? So I'm just on my way down to uh, that stream. It's quite deep into the woods and uh, and I'll show you it, but it's got quite good average flows. So let's go and have a look at it. Right, we're just coming up to it now. So there's a small one here, but it's not this one. It's the next one here. And there we go. See, that is very, very good flow. We've got about eight litres a second there. Uh, to, to hazard a guess, it's about eight litres a second. Um, so I can walk you up through the whole thing and uh, so well no probably get wet feet I haven't got wetties on we'll go up to the top of it as well and I'll show you where I'd, uh, what the plan is from the top but you can see it's good flow but this is also the boundary of my land here and it's a shared boundary so um, but like I say I have permission um, but yeah I think we could take at least three four litres a second from this three or four hundred watts possibly up to about yeah, maybe even a bit more out of this out of this system. All right, we'll go up the top, and I'll tell you what the elevations are in the plan. Okay, just give you a little idea of where I am. That's the uh, hydroelectric turbine house down there, and uh, just here over the back, there's the uh, toilet, and there's the roundhouse in the distance there. So we'll uh, make our way diagonally over that way and then we'll go to the intake, my current intake and then over in the far corner over there I have the other stream where I could put in a second intake. What would happen is, is the new intake where we're going now will be over in that far corner and it would just be another intake, I'm not having a second turbine or anything like that. That intake pipe would then come through the woodlands and come down here and it would tap in about here somewhere to my existing pipe and then go down to the turbine. So it would be two intakes, one turbine, uh, which would be quite efficient. I'd just get twice as much flow to the turbine and I could have a higher average. Um, and I've worked out the elevations and stuff and it does work. Um, so let's go up to the top and I'll show you where the intake would be. So I'm just walking up to the uh, my current intake and uh, ideally, I would have liked to have had the uh, second source of water diverted into the same intake because that would simplify things. I mean, the pipe is a lot shorter length, but um, I can't do that within the boundaries of my land because the elevations don't work. Uh, so the intake has to go downhill considerably first, then cut across, then join into the original penstock. That's the only way I can do it. So we're just coming up on the intake here. Let's actually see how much flow we got. Not a lot of spare water at the minute, I'm using it all. 
So about 400 watts at the minute. Clear that bit of skank off of there. Okay. Right. Let's uh, head to the other stream. How do I get there? So along here is my boundary. We go through here. And I'll talk to you on the way. So yeah, this is um I don't actually need this power just yet, but if I start actually producing uh, things, actual items as opposed to um, just video content, um, I'll need more power for the tools and stuff in the workshop. So this is quite a mission through here. Yeah, I'm going to need more power, up to 10 kilowatt hours a day just for the workshop, I think. So, um, so I will need more power. That can come from solar quite easily in the summer. But in the winter, that's not really the case. Also, obviously, winter, there's more lighting and stuff. And, uh, yeah, so my power needs will go up. And especially with the electric car, um, it's cut the price coming down, so on, it's likely that at some point I'll have an electric vehicle. Um, so I am going to need more power. So this second source is um, it's quite important to me. But I don't need it right now. But I am going to start getting together the money and stuff in order to uh, utilize this resource that I've got. So yeah, we'll walk down there now. We're just cutting across the boundary of the land here and uh, and heading to the top of where the second intake will, will start. Right, I'll take you there now. Almost there. I've got loads of little streams like these ones. Like I say, they're not really viable. You know, if I could combine them all, uh, they would add uh, power. To the to the system for sure but um i mean there's a half a liter a second there maybe a bit less than that it's uh 50 watts of power there if it went down a pipe but uh it's just not economically viable to run a pipe just for that so we're just coming up on the system now i'll uh get back to you when we're there all right here we are this is the boundary of my land and uh my where my second intake would be um, I'll show you from up here, then we'll go down into the stream. I'll be in there somewhere. I'll go down, down there, show you closer. This is where it'd be, somewhere here. Alright, let's get down here. Try not to fall down. Oh man, I've already fallen over once. Feet are soaked. There we go. Okay, let's uh, work our way up through here a bit. So as you can see, quite good flow. So the intake will probably be a little bit higher up. Um, I worked it out and it needs to be right as high as I can get it in order to work out. So I'll explain why that is important now. So it needs to be about here. And this is actually, my boundary's actually there, that mound there, my boundary, so the intake would be here. So I'll explain why it would need to be here. Okay, so if I, uh, if I put the intake here, and I run the pipe, because obviously this has high banks, I can't come out of here. It just won't work, because I'll lose most of my energy straight away, just getting out of the stream. I need to go down, 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 until I get to a point where it's, the sides aren't as sloped. And then the pipe needs to make its way out of there and then continue downhill until it meets the previous penstock and tap into that. And the two intakes need to have the same pressure, otherwise this, this intake will just push water out the other intake uh, and vice versa. So where it taps into the pipe needs to be exactly right, otherwise they'll just push water out of each other. So I've worked that out and that means if I put an intake here and then basically um, where I showed you down at the bottom there, it should be pretty close. I'll have to uh, cap off the end and check the pressures as I do it. As long as I get them tapped in at the, at the right place, the, the far, you know, either farther down the pipe or, or not as far down the, the other pipe, then, um, then it should work and they shouldn't push the water out of each other. Okay, so yeah, that's, uh, that's my second uh, intake potential. At least five watts a second there, more than that even like a lot more than that but I could take five, watt, five, five watts a second five litres a second from that easily and uh, not even really deplete the stream that much 
so yeah let me know if you're keen to see that um, it'll be putting in a second intake it'll be a different intake as you can see it's not the same terrain so it'll be a different style of intake but yeah let me know if you're uh, if you're interested in that seeing that I'm sure most of you are yeah it's a lovely beautiful stream it's just uh, quite away from uh, from where I actually need the power so that's why I'm going to send the pipe diagonally through the woods as opposed to put another turbine at the bottom of here if I was to put a second system, a second turbine at the bottom of here, um, I'd have to run a very long electrical cable. And it doesn't make sense. It makes more sense to send this water diagonally to the old penstock and then the cabling and everything's already there. And it would be more efficient to run one turbine than it will be to run two. As you can see, it's a very, very nice, very nice stream. Beautiful stream. Lovely, lovely flow. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start saving up the pipe and stuff. I've priced it up. It's about two grand in pipe. It's uh, 210 meters of um, of pipe needed, and I need to run 90 mil pipe at least to not get too many losses. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Just on my way walking back here, I just realised I should have mentioned that um, that stream just after it passes through my land uh, goes back and joins in to the other one that I'm taking water out of. So I don't use the water out of that stream. It just gets sent diagonally across my woodland, used through the turbine, and then it comes out of the turbine and then joins back into the same stream. And both of those streams then join into a bigger stream, which then goes into a river. So um, there's no like environmental uh, issue with that. There's no fish or anything in that. It's not big enough to have fish. We just take the water out of it, use it, put it back in and it all ends up in the same place eventually so uh, yeah I thought I'd just cover that anyway I'm gonna concentrate on what I'm doing because I'm gonna fall over again otherwise oh, it's hard work this hydro stuff yeah for comparison this is the one that I'm currently using so you see the other one is at least twice twice the flow average like I say at the time I couldn't really use it but now uh, now we can so yeah I think we might look to do that next winter there's a there's a nice uh, winter project winter videos that's still nice and clear right i'm gonna end the video there and uh yeah let me know in the comments if you think uh if you think it's a good idea and uh drop to see in the videos right speak to you later